All right, so I want to do a video on the TR800. You guys know if you follow the channel that I had that for a while now, and I've had a lot of guys asking different questions about that unit. So now that I've had it for quite some time, I want to do a review on it and show you the features that it has versus the old one and uh, some of the other masks that you guys are going to want to make sure that you're using at the house if you're not doing it on a professional level because in the paint shop and in the body shop or even at home you're dealing with very hazardous materials and you know we don't talk about that a lot on this channel but that is a side of the painting business that you are dealing with very toxic chemicals and you want to cover up the best that you can that way you can keep doing it as long as possible because if you don't cover up you can get health issues and i did get over a cold the last week and that's always the time that us painters start to think i wonder if it's taking a toll on me and that's when we start to think about our health so i wanted to go over the features of the new tr800 that i got about a year ago and show you guys how much better it is than the old unit and i wasn't real happy what they did by discontinuing the filters on the old unit so this is not a biased review i'm not sponsored by 3m i'm just telling you guys the truth because I want you guys to be safe and keep painting as long as we can. So this here is a table that I've had through my career that I used to paint moldings and different parts for the cars on. And you guys will see here in a minute, I'll show you how much overspray is on this table. So you gotta think, that's getting on us, in our lungs, in our eyes. So I wanna do the video on the TR800 and show you guys its true good features on this here video. And then we'll get back into some of our guns that we like to do, but we do have to care about our health on this channel as well. So take a look at this table and let me know what you guys think. All right, so this is the new TR800. It's been out for a while now, but it's new to me. I've had it for a little bit over a year. This is a phenomenal unit. And one of the main features that I like about this one is it lets you know when you're supposed to replace your filter. So if you guys see here, you'll see all that overspray caked up around the intake portion of this filter. And then when it goes bad, this here will start to chime and let you know that you're going to need to replace your filter so to me that's a very good feature that they did not have with the older unit so i want to show you guys the difference between the old unit and the new unit but i want to show you guys the features that this one has that the other one did not so when your battery start to die out with the old one it did not beep where this one does and this one has multiple speeds on it so if this was to get a little bit clogged you can turn up the speed to get more airflow based off of this here being clog but it does let you know when you need to replace this so these come in a sealed container that is going to be airtight that way these do not go bad because they do have expiration dates on them so but whereas the old ones just came with a plastic cap inside the area for the filter and i'll go and get that now and show you guys that all right so this here is the old filter for the old unit that they used to have i did get a couple extra one of these when i was trying to keep my old system going before I bought this one but if you see here they were selling ones that were really almost expired so you had to take that into consideration because look at how these were sealed up all they had was this cap sealing the filter off whereas the new ones they come all sealed up in a vacuum sealed package that way it does not get uh, expired so there's some type of charcoal in here along with other filters that have to be treated and cared with just like you have your regular respirator so when you get that regular respirator that thing only lasts for so long and that's why they give you the bag to hold it in and that way it'll last its full expectation out of that mass so these here to me i'm sure when they were going through transport there was times when these came off because there's nothing holding it on and to me that is a bad way of having it so I wasn't happy about it, but you know what? Now that I've got this unit here and I see how much better it is and what it's doing is keeping us safer because it's letting us know when we need to change that filter out instead of just saying, oh, we got time, we got time with this one and making it last longer than it's needed. So this one here has a very long battery life on it. And the TR800, if you see here, it's got an extended battery on it. 
they do make a smaller unit. I think it's a TR600, which has a smaller battery. But you guys know that we're spraying all the time here and we do not want to have to charge this thing up in the middle of the day, which may slow us down and make us take a risk to try the old school mask on. So that is the two differences so far with the TR800 mask. So let me show you guys some other things that it has on it. So a lot of guys were asking, can you wear glasses with this unit? And yes, you can. You still have plenty of room in here and you have this elastic that seals around the bottom of your face. You guys see here, we have hair. And also there's a lot of guys with beards that can't get a good seal with the regular mask. It's got a constant flow of air that's brought up here through the intake and then it blows it into the hood. So right here, you guys see, it has a little flap where you can adjust the air pressure. And this is where the air comes in and it fills the hood. That way it has positive pressure. So it does have a lot of uh, adjustments on it. That way, if you have a big head, you guys see I have a big head, obviously. But this will allow you from a big head down to a small head and you do have some foam here for comfort. So you do have to get used to it. It does have a little bit of a glare. I've heard guys complaining about that. But to me, once you get used to it, you'll never be able to go back to just spraying out of a regular mask because you're getting covered with overspray. So let's show you some of the other masks they have that are definitely not as protected as this, but I want you guys at the house to be safe. So let me show you some good options for that as well. All right, so this here is your normal respirator. This is the least that you're gonna wanna have when you're doing any painting. And also I recommend getting some type of goggles if you wanna keep the overspray out of your eyes with that there unit, because that's not gonna cover your eyes at all. So the best bet that you can have for a cheaper unit is this here full face respirator. This is a normal respirator with a full face on it and they do make peel offs for this. That way you're able to keep the overspray out of your eyes. So we're gonna go in the booth now and I'm gonna show you guys when I'm spraying underneath some of these tailgates, how much overspray is getting back on top of you and you wouldn't really think about it until you get a unit like this. So now that I'm so used to using this, it's hard for me to ever go back in there and clear anything with this on. And there it is, you guys hear the buzzer on it. It just happened to be low on the battery. I wanted to show you guys the sound that it makes and uh, we planned it right. So we're gonna be putting it on the charger. That way we can get it charged up. It takes about half the night. I'll leave it on there and then I'll come back in the morning and it'll be all charged up. And then I'll get about probably two days out of it at least, spraying continuously and then we'll uh, charge it back up. So some of you guys that don't paint as much, you could probably get it to last you for the week. So that's the sound and I'll show you guys now how it looks when it's flashing. And then what'll happen is whenever this needs to be changed, it'll do the same sound, but it'll be flashing over here. So that way you can change your filter, which is inside here. That's it there. It just unclips here. Then you put your cover back on and you're good to go. Then you just have an Allen head on the bottom that holds the battery in, loosen that up. Take it off and then it plugs into the charger and then you'll uh, just go ahead and uh, set it up here. I keep it on my bench here. Just like that. And uh, before long, you'll know right there, you can see it's got the orange. It'll turn green when it's good. All right, so I'm sure you guys remember this. If you follow the channel, this is my old unit and I had this mocked up inside of a backpack. I cut the hole, that way the intake could come out of here. And I did like having this and a lot of guys are using this here unit with a one strap style backpack as well. So to me, I just like it around my waist right now. I may check into one of them later, 
but this is the old unit and the reason why I stopped using this was because 3M discontinued the filters for this here unit. So this one worked. And I even had one of my subscribers give me a part for it years back because they started to discontinue the parts for it. And I got it running for a year or two later after that. But then they stopped making the filters and then this here unit became obsolete. So I was very disappointed by them doing that without giving us a heads up on that or even giving us some type of a discount towards the new unit because these were still working fine. It's just that they weren't making the filter for them. So we did get the new unit and to me now having the new upgrades by having that battery that lets you know when it needs to be charged as well as the filter. That is the main feature that I like the most is that that filter tells you when you need to change it out. That way you're keeping yourself safe. And even though they did let me down on the old unit by having that and this one working well, I still do like the way that the 3M new system works. So I'm not gonna talk bad about it because it is a good unit. And this one here, I guess will go down in history because it still works good. I do have a couple old filters that I could still use with it to keep it around. Maybe if I was doing something at the house with it, but on a day-to-day -day level, I wanna make sure that I have my filters up to date. They're not expired. That way everything is gonna be safe and I won't have any problems with it. So you guys see there was a lot of overspray in that booth. And you can imagine when you're doing cars every day, how much overspray you're gonna get caked up on your lungs as well as your eyes and in your bloodstream. So I want you guys to be safe, get the best unit you can afford. And if you can't, a lot of times the paint stores will do deals with you guys that you can pay them on payments. That way you guys could be safe. So I hope you guys like this one. We'll have some new videos of some new guns coming out. You guys know we're gonna be doing the clear gun and I got some other things coming up too on the channel. So we'll see you guys on the next one.